Erja Boyadov. I'm part of the Building Energy Efficiency Project team, an Indo Swiss project, and I will present you the main feature of the new software which has been developed uh, called Vayu Prava, which is a free software for the simulation of wind driven air movement around and inside buildings. Uh, just a few words about the, the technicalities of this software. So it has been developed with the support of the University of Applied Science of Sion in uh, Switzerland, with Dr. Jean de Quay as the main scientific advisor. <clears throat> and then I have been uh, the coordinator and the leader of this development. Uh, the software is based on open form, this open form simulation engine, which is the only uh, validated publicly available software, but very difficult to use. And the, this uh, environment is running on Windows 10 PCs with about 16 gigabyte RAM. This is what we advise. And there is a user manual which will come with the software on how to use it as well. So a few words about the concept. If we look at, we can ask ourselves the question about how is it that the wind direction influenced the air movement during uh, the hot summer? Then uh, the building layout, of course, of a project with the density we have nowadays in country like India in the urban context is very high. And then, of course, the facade design can influence also the way the air can enter or pass along the facades. So. One of the main question is that often the design are based on intuition and uh, very often arrows are drawn, but they may not follow actually the air movement. And outside very simple cases hand calculation are not very sufficient and often even impossible. So and the commercial com computational fluid dynamic software CFDs, they are very helpful, but they are very expensive and out of reach for many consulting company, including in Europe. And that is why this, this software Vayu Prava has been developed to be a free software, which can allow a much larger audience to perform wind driven air movement analysis. And the main goal also is that the CFD should be very fast also in its calculation. So a few of the main feature, uh, it can, you can go from a district level for the calculation. You see here an example of the map of a district in a country in Switzerland, in a, in a city in Switzerland. And you can see here the results of the calculation with the velocity. And it can come to a single large project or to single buildings. It's possible also to simulate inside the building, which has been added uh, for the version of uh, that we present now. As mentioned, it was developed by the by BEEP and the University of Applied Science. The methodology has been published in the Journal of Physics after presentation in the CISBAT the International Conference in Lausanne in Switzerland. Few things about the scientific development of Vayu Prava. The picture present the comparison between a wind tunnel measurement and commercial, softwe uh, commercial software as well as uh, Vayu Prava. So you can see here that when we look at the velocity of the air, before reaching the building, you can see that the line, the diamond is actually uh, in function of the height of the flow. You can see that the wind tunnel are the diamond uh, uh, on the line. Then you can see that the flow vent, which is a commercial software and then open foam with the, with the, with the line, they are matching quite, quite good. So this is the first kind of comparison which was done also. Then we did some other comparison between commercial software 
and uh, value Prava. And uh, you can see here the comparison uh, matching the colors exactly between the two scales of uh, airflow around nine buildings with a kind of diagonal flow. And you can see the here the flow around calculated with slow end and the and the calculation with open form and the Vayu Prava. You can see that the matching is also quite good. Then uh, we have also added the facility to calculate inside the building. I'll show you later some more details about the actual simulation. So these are things which have been uh, got in a, in a wind tunnel uh, with, with actual measurements. And we can compare the velocity profile. So you can see the points here along the the, the air is entering on the left and then going through the building and going out. And then the A, B, C, D, E, F, G are this, this uh, cross section where the wind has been measured in the wind tunnel. And you can see the, the blue square points are actually what has been measured in the wind tunnel. And you can see in violet the curve which is calculated with uh, Vayu Prava. So you see that the, the matching is quite good. Now, if we look at how do we think we, sh we can use this, this software. So the first thing is to get drawing from an architect or, or a, a client developer. Then we can introduce it in the software in the DXF format. And then we can prepare the simulation by setting the wind, et cetera, a condition. Then we can get uh, a simulation. Normally the simulation are done within a few minutes if the, if the case is not too complicated. Then after we can also modify the building layout, I'll show you after. And uh, then we can compare different alternatives during the use of the software each time we have results, we can also generate PDF files. So we can compare the results between two alternate design. This is just to show an example here. And then uh, we can also later, if we want, or from the beginning, work on designing internal flows in a building. That means by working on opening on facades and setting up one floor, for instance, on a building of 10 story, you could select one, one floor to calculate in internal flows. And then you get comparative results within buildings also with the velocity and the pressure. So if we look at how you are working with the software, you have to prepare the DXF file. You need a little bit to clean them before entering, but normally this is very fast or you can redraw quickly the, the poly line of the, so of the buildings. And then you can import various shapes of building actually with internal courtyard or funny shapes of all kinds. And it can go up to a district kind of uh, situation where you can also simulate such large. Then after you can set the height from the DXF plans, you can set the height of buildings. And then you can prepare the simulation. There you need uh, to set up the environmental condition and uh, like the wind direction, its velocity and the reference height that you get from the data you have. We think here essentially at night velocity and direction during the hot summer, that's where you are trying to do the, the night cooling by cross ventilation. And then you can launch the simulation. Then during the simulation, a pop-up windows appear displaying the status. So the first bar, when it's blue, this is the meshing. Then the second bar, when the simulation after the meshing has been completed, the second bar show the remaining time. Typically, simple cases are calculated uh, like the one I have shown before in within a few minutes with a, 
with the PC with four physical cores of type I7. And at the end, the blue bar showing that the simulation is over with this view sign. And then by clicking on done, you are going to the results of the simulation. So here you can have different uh, results show uh, parameters or variable that you show here. We show, for instance, uh, a position of, uh, if we have 25 meter height buildings, we have the airflow velocity between the buildings uh, from a, a, a far distance wind at three meter per second and at a height of 18 meters around the buildings. You can see here, we can also add labels to visualize locally uh, better the, the velocity. And here you have the scale, uh, which is helping. And then of course, there are quite few visualization possible with the software. One is visualize the velocity around the building at different uh, planes, whether it is on the vertical or horizontal axis. Uh, you can also have the pressure around the buildings. You can also have pressure on building facades, which is also very useful because when you want to get uh, an idea of how the airflow can go through a building, you get here first thing that if you get the pressure on both sides of a building where you think it could be opened through or, or a kind of cross ventilation, it gives you a good idea if you get uh, absolutely no pressure difference between one side and the other side. Another thing, uh, you can also see the streamlines, which is more indicative. Another uh, presentation, which is the threshold the visualization is that you can see a domain, for instance, where the velocity is between a, in, in a domain of, of values, or you can also have clipping planes, planes. That means you can, you can cut the building and visualize the airflow inside the building. Even if it's a 10 story building, uh, you can go, let's say at the fifth story and have a look into uh, the, the floor that you have selected to be uh, simulated in detail. So after you have one result, you can always make a new alternative design. So you can either move, for instance, the, the building number seven in this, we move it by translation. The six, we number six, we move it also by translation and the building nine can be just rotated. So just to show you can translate or rotate and you can select different buildings. Then uh, once you have a modified case, you can run the two, you can calculate by simulation the different, and then you can compare the results by generating a PDF file. That means uh, which, are, which can be comparable approximately at the same height. And you get the velocity between the buildings for the two different uh, layout. And then you can see how it can be changing a lot depending on the way you do it. So the importance of the building layout is really of major importance. Of course, it is a multi-parametric uh, criteria to make orientation of building. It's not only the, uh, the wind, but the wind, at least you can get a clear idea on what is the influence of your building layout on the airflow. Then we can also as I mentioned, have an internal flow. So here I show you quickly, for instance, that if you have the base of the building, which we say is a rectangular shape, then of type A, we call it, that is one layer. So you make a first layer up to the floor you want to simulate in detail inside. Then you can add the closed part of the facade, which has a specific kind of uh, profile. This is the B level, and then you add the C level, which is the, the part of the facade which has openings. And you can design things to test different architectural features to get either by opening shutters or windows or outside to get the air, trying getting the air entering when the air is going along the facade. And so this is one example here. You have the wind direction, which is uh, facing uh, the longest facade of three buildings, which are one after the other. So you can see here that we have very good 
air change when we are on the first building because it is located windward, but the next buildings hardly have any uh, wind uh, cross ventilation potential. So it's very important to try to see whether you can change it. So here we have taken an extreme example. We have really rotated completely the two buildings. And you can see here that by doing that, uh, we can really having a facade which has a little bit of specific design to get the air to enter into one uh, flat and then cross in the corridor, for instance, or depending on the design, and then go out on the other side. You can see that by changing from this situation to this situation, of course, this is an extreme uh, schematic case, but we show we show here, you can visualize that you have a much better velocity in the three buildings at night. So it can help in thinking about the way you are designing a building layouts. So in a summary, I would say that the first thing is Vayu Prava is a freely downable real computational fluid dynamic tools. It gives results for most of the typical case in few minutes, which means you could allow optimizing in real time during multidisciplinary working meeting between the developer, the architect, the engineers, the green consultant, etc. You can directly compare different layouts of buildings and even strategies inside the building. That means the facade design. So. It seems it's a good addition to Econiva Samita as it is giving more information about the potential for night cooling, especially. And there will be a download link which will be given at the end of the training program to tomorrow on Saturday, 11th December to the people who registered. Thank you for your attention.